Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Our flesh does not like to be humbled, yet pride destroys us. Humility is not weakness. It is the power to understand our weakness and need of God. We're reading today from Deuteronomy chapter 7 through 9, and the verse of the day is Deuteronomy 8, verse 3. He humbled you and let you be hungry and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you understand that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by everything that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. In context, Moses is preparing the hearts of God's people as they prepare to enter the promised land. He reminds them of God's promises and in chapter 8, how gracious God has been toward them. Reading in a bit more context, Deuteronomy 8, verses 1 through 3, it says, All the commandments that I am commanding you today you shall be careful to do, so that you may live and increase, and go in and take possession of the land which the Lord swore to give to your forefathers. And you shall remember all the way which the Lord your God has led you in the wilderness these forty years, in order to humble you, putting you to the test, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. And he humbled you and let you go hungry and fed you with the manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, in order to make you understand that man shall not live on bread alone, but man shall live on everything that comes out of the mouth of the Lord. You know, God is in the processes of this life more than we want to be. He uses the processes to produce the humility we need, but so often avoid as we are prideful people. We tend to crave things of this world, but God made us for so much more to know Him. He's our provider, and we need to look to Him, not the creation and not self. I chose the key word humbled, which is the Hebrew word anach. It means to bow low, to be put down, become low. God is so kind to humble us. Pride destroys us, and self is a burden. As noted theologian and author C.S. Lewis so aptly stated, humility is not thinking less of yourself, it is thinking of yourself less. And yet, friends, I would add to C.S. Lewis' statement that humility is thinking less of ourselves, not in a self-deprecating way, but in an honest assessment with our great need of God. Still, even in our humble stance, God esteems us as worthy of giving his own life on our behalf. Thought of the day. Humility is not weakness. It is the power to understand our weakness and need of God. Application. The truly humble don't know that they are. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Second Chronicles.